the fact that we are becoming ever more dependent on technology, you know, and I saw that in the 80s coming. Um, the fact that then somebody anywhere in the world could impact and hurt us, could damage our systems just because they want to, just because it's fun for them. I've done nothing wrong to them. I haven't done anything wrong. And they slap me in the gut. And they smack me across the face. And they steal my money. And they steal my identity because they can. That bothers me. It was uh, Captain America. I don't like bullies. Moscow, Idaho. Home of the University of Idaho and the Center for Secure and Dependable Systems, CSDS, a Cyber Grand Challenge finalist preparing its computer to do battle in the world's first all-computer Capture the Flag tournament. The computer security version of Capture the Flag is just like the game you played as a kid, but the flags are made of data and the field is made of brand new code. It's the job of CFT competitors to reverse engineer that code to explore and heal its weaknesses. CSDS qualified as a two-person team, Dr. Alves Foss and Dr. Jia Song, an assistant research professor. They're building their cyber reasoning system, GMA, completely from scratch. The computer security products we're used to, like antivirus software, are filled with knowledge written by experts, signatures, and patches. What CGC is building is something new a cyber reasoning system that does its own investigations and creates its own knowledge, autonomously searching code for flaws, then writing its own intrusion detection signatures and security patches. Right when I was talking to some people who said, oh no, you know, binary disassembly is impossible. You can't, in general, disassemble code and get the right source. And in general, that's the case. But this was a, a more special case environment, so we could do it here. But I thought, we could look at this and try and figure out what to do. Um, so wrote some tools to just quickly start analyzing sample binaries, analyzing what would be generated by the Decree tool to see what we could find out. Decree is a miniature operating system just for Capture the Flag, sporting a unique format and a very simple interface. It's incompatible by design with every other system in the world. With no shared code roots or legacy to deal with, it's a safe haven for researchers. It was, wait, we have a way of, without knowing, with doing pure static analysis of the binary, of being able to detect locations where vulnerabilities could occur and to patch them. And do it in a way that was efficient enough we could get points on the scoring. <laughs> Dr. Cindy Song was Alves Foss's student at Idaho, working on her dissertation. She got interested in the challenge and joined him in the fall of 2014. Neither of them had ever played in a Capture the Flag style competition. In June 2015, Cindy and Jim's system qualified for the CGC finals. I'm very proud of the fact that we were in the top five in both scored events, you know, the practice events, as a two-person team going up against the caliber of the competition we're going against. I mean, I've been reading some of these people's research papers. I'm, you know, just looking at what they're working on and I'm just, you know, it's, it's great stuff. Um, and so the fact that ours happened to compete well with them because we did a slightly different approach or a very different approach, depending, it was just amazing and exciting. Dr. Song's primary focus is finding the bugs. Jim's is patching them. If their CRS GMA succeeds, CSDS will take home the $2 million prize.